Welcome back to Badass Witch Live. And today I want to show y'all, even on my little messy money altar, it looks messy, but what y'all are looking at is a, a mixture of things that bring me money, okay? Um, so you're looking at, um, you know, you're looking at cinnamon, you're looking at pine cones, uh, money, um, ancestor money and real money, uh, my Buddha, um, my different Siddhartha, uh, Buddha and the God Hopi, um, statues, they, uh, my Lakshmi, um, picture of Lakshmi in the back, um, this is my skull bank, that's actually a bank that I actually keep money in, uh, this is, um, a thousand dollar winner that I won at Bingo after using, uh, this wealthy whey oil, um, uh, by Art of the Root, okay, I put it on the bottoms of my feet, on my hands, and I went to play bingo with my mom, right, and, um, so I got down to needing, I knew I was, I was working my magic, y'all, because I got down to needing, I think the number was like, uh, something with a five in it, I don't know, G55 or some shit like that, and I was like, okay, fives, fives, that's my mama. So the the last number I needed was like G5, yep, G55. Look, that's the one that I hit bingo on. That's why it's a different color, right? That's my mama, okay? Five is our number. I'm like, that's my mom. Um, so what I, I, instinctively, this is how spirit talks to me. I knew what to do, okay? So I heard my spirit say blink five times. Why do I do blink five times? Why did I use that particular mode? Because... My, I've seen my mother do it, okay, and I think she does it unconsciously, like, my mother would never claim to be a spiritualist, a witch, no shit like that, I've just watched my mother and grandmother be magical my whole life, okay, but they don't talk about it, okay, so I've watched my mom do it, and so I blinked, you know, my spirit said to blink five times, you know, do what you seen your mom do, and I did it, and when I opened my eyes on the fifth blink, honey, my number, boom, G55, was in the damn monitor. I was like, oh my God. So all it took was for somebody not to say bingo on the last number because they had called, right? Nobody hollered bingo, so I knew I had it. And sometimes you can, like, two people can bingo at one time and you might have to split it, but I didn't have to split it. I won the whole thousand dollars and was able to bring it home and, and it was money, extra money, okay? But anyway, um, so, and that was about two or three weeks ago. It's actually on my Facebook page. So I came in here today What the... What the video is actually about today is about the most magical stone that I own, okay? The reason why I will say it is the most magical, because they work damn near every time I program them to do something, okay? They are my living um, magnetite lodestones. Now, I have uh, do another video on these. Um, I did a video on how to feed them, okay? I'm trying to show y'all that these are alive, okay? And the way you can tell that they are alive is that you'll see the little hairs. I'm trying to put them against the backdrop of the money so you can see the little hairs sticking off of them. Okay, I think you can see it here. I need to turn the light on in here. But anyway, uh, if you can see the little hairs sticking up off of that, that is uh, shavings, okay? I, I feed my lodestones this... Um, the, their gold uh, metal shavings, okay? So it's magnetic sand, and I, I use gold um, and silver, okay? So I feed my lodestones with this. I um, dress them with this wealthy whey oil. Um, I swear by oils by Art of the Root. I'm trying to get it clear in the camera. But anyway, Art of the Root, they ought to pay me to be their advertisement, okay? But their their oils are amazing. Um, when I don't make my own because they make theirs just like mine, you can see the herbs in there. And um, I either use that or I use my own homemade money oil, okay? And so, uh, or sometimes I'll use both. Uh, what y'all see all over the table is five finger grass, um, some acrimony, um, you see gold and silver, um, you see gold and silver glitter, you see, uh, real money, um, what else did I put on there? Um, under here, uh, is a bed of, uh, 
alfalfa and five senior grass. So I, my um, my actual lodestones are sitting on top of, and if you can look at this green one right here, you can see the hairs. Uh, but the, I put real money, ancestor money, uh, money drawing herbs, pyrite, which is another uh, money uh, drawing stone, and um, these load stones are the most magical stones that I have. I mean, every single time that I come in here to program and feed these, it seems like within an hour, um, some money is coming in, whether it be a donation, whether it be um, a client, um, some kind of way. I'm winning something, just unexpected uh, money. So I am in love <laughs> with these stones. I'm like, damn, I can really, you know, program these to do bigger and bigger things okay so what i want to do is get me some more of these because i do um only use them for one thing like i would never take these and uh try to program them to do something else um these are my money stones i do have um some other magnetites i have red ones that are painted red i have some regular ones on my oshun altar uh, to maintain my self-love and to maintain um you know all the relationships in my life uh, you, these are, I love these because you can program them with your intention. Um, I've never had them not work. They are very, um, very magical, okay? Now, of course, if you're doing a bigger job trying to draw something in, it may take a little bit longer, but I've never had them not work. They are very, uh, extremely powerful. So put these in your mojo bags. Um, make sure that you do. I feed them now. Uh, so I think sometimes I overfeed them. What y'all see here is a bowl of sugar, and sometimes I do add just a couple little drops of sugar on there, and that's just because of my own nature uh, being Omo Oshun, okay? So the sugar is like, you know, I'm like, here's a little, you know, I sweeten it, okay? So I do put a little bit of sugar on mine, but I'm not telling anybody else to do that, okay? Um, the, and every once in a while, I might give them the sugar on Thursdays, um, and I really should only be feeding them on Thursdays, but because I'm so in love with them, I feed them probably a lot more than most people do, okay? So, <laughs> um, but uh, they they work very, very well, okay? If you get some that are actually alive and actually um, have the properties of magnetism. Now, I am going to be using uh, lodestones within my vagina power ritual um, again, because it's all about, uh, you know, uh, well, I'm not going to give a, out too much information about that. If you um, are interested in vagina power, I'm thinking in the next seven days, we will be beginning that ritual. Um, so if you're not signed up for vagina power, uh, be sure to, um, I will put the link in the description to go to my Patreon and uh, you can, um, you can join the class. Uh, I'm sorry, not the class. You can uh, actually sign up to be part of uh, the ritual, okay? So, uh, for vagina power. And we're going to use uh, magnetite lodestones in that as well um, in a, for a different reason, okay? So, uh, but I just wanted to come and share with you guys the most magical stones that I own. Um, they are my favorites. I love them. I talk to them. Um, I blow my breath on them. You know, we know that in magic, the breath is sacred. Um, and I whisper to them and I tell them what their job is to do uh, for me. And I give them sugar <laughs> as, a, uh, as a reward. Um, and really, the sugar is just symbolic for me. I probably, they probably ain't even, you know, the sugar is not uh, really affecting the stones uh, on any kind of molecular or, uh, you know, scientific level. But uh, for me, on a magical level, as far as my intention goes, um, this is what works for me. And that's what you have to do being, um, you know, uh, a practitioner, whether you're new or whatever, you have to eventually figure out what works for you. Uh, and not to be following, which I've never been one to follow anyone else's recipe or uh, anything like that, uh, you know, to the T. So anything that you get uh, from me or anyone else should just be a blueprint and not uh, the actual, um, you know, you don't follow anybody's thing to a T. You want to eventually have your own uh, book of shadows, your own grimoire, and uh, your own recipes and your own magic, okay? So until we meet again, my people, the magnetite lodestones are the most magical stones that I own. 
and I just wanted to share this with you guys this morning. Uh, keep it classy, keep it clean, and do what you gotta do to make shit happen.